Hi Scorpio, welcome to your spirit messages for March 2021. I am Charlene Lizette. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're returning a mass, thank you to you for being a part of our High Vibe community. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great queen, the Morgan, to whom all my work is devoted to. If you're new, I hope you hit subscribe, join our family, like the video if you liked it, and subscribe to the channel, I already said that, and let me know in the comment box if this uh, resonates with you. Normally, spirit messages uh, are directly channeled. My voice changes, the energy changes um, completely because I am literally like a beacon of transmission. However, there's a huge storm here in Toronto, and there's a lot of wind, and I've got my heater going because it's freaking cold here. So I understood last week, um, last month, a few of you couldn't hear me very well, and I don't want that to happen. So just for the month of March, I've asked to only directly channel if the message needs to be directly channeled. If not, I'll be reading them and, and delivering and conveying the messages through your higher self, masters, teachers, loved ones, etc. Raven, I don't know what she's doing here. She's doing some crazy stuff in the office. Uh, inner temple devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. Lemuria, creating heaven on earth. Answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? Yes. Just say yes. And tr Okay. I see you. I see you. I see you. Um, all right, I'm looking for, I'm looking for your crystal. I'm looking for your crystal. I'm seeing if they're going to point anything else to me, but not, but which one do you want? Well, okay then. Listen, Scorpio, you know? We get each other, okay? Um, here's what I want to say. So I have my pillow on this chair because this chair is not comfortable after a while and the pillow is slide of a day in my butt. Um, you're psychic. You're kind of witchy even if you're not witchy. You know, you know things. There is a, a part of you that connects to the deepest depths of the unconscious, the subconscious. Don't even think about it, Raven. Why? Because if you do that, it's going to all fall. Do you want to come up here? Do you want to come sit up here? Okay. Don't you lie me, child. You want to come up? You got to come up then. Um, okay. But then why, why are you playing this game? What do you want, my boo What do you need? What do you want? Do you want to say hi to Scorpio? Say hey, Scorpio. <laughs> say hi. Say hi. You want to wave to them? Do you want to read their tarot for them today? Do you want to help me pick out the cards? My girl. What do you need? You want to go sleepy time? So go lay down. The pillows are right there. You can go sleep. Um, no, they said no. So here's what I need to tell you first. Your psychic abilities, your ability to see things without knowing how you see them, know things without knowing how you know them, experience things without knowing how to express them. Like your, your psychic ability to kind of like connect with death with the other side of the world and this side of the world um, comes very naturally to you. It's not something that you have to work hard at. The crystal that you got, and it was funny because I got two because I felt like, I thought there was going to be something to do with love here. And they were like, no, 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 no. Not that their love isn't important here, but this is so much is about uh, those of you and even those like both sides, those of you that already are connected to this very witchy psychic side and those of you that are just starting your journey to get yourself some witch's quartz. It's called witch's finger or witch's quartz. This is what it looks like. Okay, see how it's pointy, kind of like looks like a little finger meditating with this ritual spell work etc will help you to receive the information that you need to receive as you go through this this is huge okay I'm just gonna move Raven, Raven your butt sorry but your butt's in the way 
You got inner temple. Devotion. Tune into the portal of your heart. Lemuria. Creating heaven on earth. It's happening. There's the wind coming again. Answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? For some of you, this is very much tapping into your witchy energy. Um, maybe your spiritual energy, your psychic energy, your ability to connect with the divine, with the other side that maybe you were too afraid to do before. Yes, just say yes. I think it's self-explanatory. And transformation. Things are changing at a deep cellular level. Deep healing. Okay. Now let me get the, um, the tarot. Okay. Glad to hear that we were able to work this out. Girl, you got big fast, huh? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get your card here for you. The Page of Wands. The Two of Cups. Yeah, this is about your own balance. Like knowing knowing that you can live in this realm, 3D realm, but also go into the other side. No longer being afraid of that. Yes, sir. Oh, I love this reading for you. Wow. Okay. Inner temple, devotion, tune into the portal of your heart and the page of wands. The page of wands has an offering. It has an opportunity. It has this lit energy here that it's wanting to pass on. It's a messenger. What is your heart telling you needs to be the message right now? What are you supposed to be delivering out into the universe right now? Where do you need to listen to your heart? Lemuria, creating heaven on earth, it's happening, and the two of cups. To me, maybe a little bit of this has to do with like a romantic situation, but spear messages aren't normally romantically like directed. This is about your own self-growth, your own higher evolution. Lemuria, creating heaven on earth, it's happening, and the two of cups. When I see these two together, okay, the big energy that I am receiving from these two is that you are working really hard here on finding your own balance of yin and yang energy, of light and dark, of shadow and light, uh, of ma uh, masculine and feminine, to be able to create this new reality that you are designing in your own life that will then just create this ripple effect into the universe itself. It's like it has to start with you and then you vibrate it out. <laughs> Answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do with the five of cups? Don't look at the spilled cups. If you're reinventing yourself from the for the tenth time, the fifth time, who cares? Why does that matter? Right? Because there's four cups. There's one cup that's spilled in this picture and four that are still up. So you still have tons of opportunity to answer the call, to step into your true soul power, to step into your true soul purpose, to listen to what your higher self your witchy self has to say about the direction that you could go in in your life. Divine wisdom. Yes. Just say yes. I mean, is this any more self-explanatory? Divine wisdom talks about the goddess Isis. Isis and she has the, um, oh shoot, there's a name for this egg. Whoop. I'm just going to move these away because ravens. Raven, your tail. Oh my gosh. There's a name for it. And I'm, I want to call it Orpheus, but that's not the right name. Let me find. Let me find. I'm going to read it for you. The goddess Isis stands within a rose garden beneath an ancient catechist and the cosmic Orphic egg, each a symbol of unity with our celestial origins to the divine. Isis is the eternal goddess and great magician and great and a timeless expression of the divine feminine. She encourages us to activate and reclaim our sovereignty and our power, our sovereignty and our power and helps us awaken our individual and collective healing. What did I say? It's a ripple effect. I'm telling you, I was feeling that so strongly, so freaking strongly. Why are you getting my hand? 
What did I do? And then the last card you got was transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing, and the universe. These two are additional tarot deck uh, cards, and I haven't memorized them yet. So let me read you. I like reading these little bits. I feel like there's nuggets of information that you need to hear. This is self-explanatory. This is a part of your transformation. This is a part of your highest energy, okay? This is about you leveling up into your power. Oh my God, my nose is itchy. <laughs> do, you, do you want Scorpio to pay attention to this card? Is this card important to them? Can I, can I bring this over here now? Okay. Obviously this card, there's a lot to say about this card. So let me read it. Okay, I have it open already, thank you. Looking out into the cosmos, a seeker comes into full awareness of her own divinity. In her hands, she holds a fragment of the universe, realizing all that she sees beyond her is already contained within. Maybe I need to hold it here, or like, is that better? Yeah, there it is. All that she has searched for, waiting for her own awakening, all that she has strived for was already flowing through her. The journey has come full circle. Completion, ascension, clarity, success, arrival with transformation. Ah! That is wonderful. Are you ready to ascend to the next stage in your life? Are you ready for this? Scorpio, this is so freaking amazing. I love this energy. I am so excited for you. If you're interested in a private reading, either live or pre-recorded, take a look at the description box below so that you can book with me. If you'd like to purchase some gemstone jewelry over at Starcy Jewels, my jewelry line, and get your modern day amulet, it's also in the description box below. I'm wearing some wrist candy right now. I've got um, a new piece. You gotta sign up to the mailing list for that. Priestess, uh, Venus, Bastet, Malojo, they're all on there. A bunch more other pieces as well. Whether you're masculine, feminine, they, them, it doesn't matter. Thank you so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. But most importantly, thank you for being you. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.